So, in the midst of all of the news about Black Panther and everything going on with the premiere, some news has come out about Lupita Nyong'o's second job, her job on the side, her little side hustle that she's got going on. Mm-hmm. Seems as if she's working with a company by the name of De Beer, De Beers. Little known thing about this company, obviously a little known company in and of itself. Seems that there's some sort of conflict diamond, blood diamond, something strange going on with them. But she decides it's a good idea to be the global ambassador because obviously something like that probably comes with a hefty check. It's very interesting. Especially considering her reasons for not doing the Woman King. Very interesting. Uh, and then the optics of it are, are is very tokenized. Right? You know, jewelry company that may or may not be dealing in conflict diamonds has a, a Kenyan woman. Having her at, out in front as your brand amb- ambassador... Smart marketing, but it does, it feels a little bit tokenized. If we're just talking about Lapita personally, I would say that it is more, it's just further proof that actors act and they just be saying stuff sometimes. Like, you know, it, it just, it gets hard for, for you to keep an integrity or, or for people to look at you with integrity when you know what you say and what you do kind of ebb and flow without knowing her personally or, or or being able to speak to her character i would just say it's inconsistent for sure like uh, i'm not gonna make a movie that's celebrating you know uh, uh slavers or or people who helped imprison africans that eventually became slaves but then yeah. I'm going to endorse a brand that deals in blood diamonds. Mm. I don't know. I don't know if I like that. I don't like it. They're in pursuit of the brand's public goals to engage 10,000 girls in STEM, mm-hmm. support 10,000 women entrepreneurs, mm-hmm. and invest at least $10 million across Southern Africa to achieve these goals by 2030. Did it say that they was going to stop paying up diamonds? Did they say that they were going to stop taking the natural resources of the natives? Did they say that they were going to stop killing over these diamonds? Stop the killing, help aid in stopping the killing of the mining of these, di- these, these diamonds? No. No, we're just going to educate the people around them Give them resources and education and, and, and help, help them unlift themselves, but we're going to keep stripping them, though. We're going to keep stripping them. We're going to keep doing that. And we're going to have this black woman be the face like, of it all. Look, we're nice now. Yeah. What did y'all know about STEM before we came? <laughs> yeah, we got Lapita. Look at my African American over here. <laughs> my African Mexican over here. <laughs> yeah, no, Lupita is the face. Now. Is the face of that. Usually, brands try to put a little sugar on the pill. Yes, and that's what this is. That's what this is. Not that we're going to change the direction of our business structure. Not that we're going to change the way that we acquire our our materials or our our, our products. We're just going to placate you. Now, don't don't get me wrong. Ten thousand children in, in in wherever they'll you know across the, the the southern part of Africa, getting getting you know put into STEM programs. That that's that is going to be an amazing thing. That is something to be commended. And and otherwise, they wouldn't have had that opportunity. So, for what it's worth, you can give you can give a little bit of credit to De Beers and 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 Lapita for that. But at the end of the day, it, it just kind of pales in comparison to the lives that were lost over the, the jewelry that you sell. And, and, and putting 10,000 girls into STEM programs doesn't... Wait, did it say 10,000 girls or did it say 10,000 kids? 10,000 girls. Uh, let's see, 10,000 girls in STEM, yeah. I'm sorry. 
Are there no boys to put in STEM programs down there? That that's the no. They're mining for diamonds. I'm confused, yo. So what? Okay, that doesn't make any sense. Why is it specifically girls? I think they're trying to get around black women empowerment. It okay. seems they're focusing this on women specifically. Because like so I said, it was women. It's even more of a publicity thing than I than I previously thought. Because now, now that I'm I'm registering it, it it's literally just virtue. It, it's a virtue. So 10,000 10, girls specifically. You can say twenty thousand kids. Because it's not kids; it's girls. Let me let me read this paragraph one more time. Okay. Likewise, through the partnership, Nyong'o will support De Beers' Building Forever commitment, which aims to advance women and girls where its diamonds are discovered. In particular, De Beers will work with Nyong'o in pursuit of the brand's public goals to engage 10,000 girls in STEM, support 10,000 women entrepreneurs, and invest at least $10 million across Southern Africa to achieve these goals by 2030. Are the males across Southern Africa that much more adept at STEM than the women that they need to be brought to speed? Like, what, I'm, can, why is... Why is that a good thing? Why why are we doing Because this is black girl magic. This is this is about the women. This isn't about men. It's about the women. It's about the black women in Africa. Yeah. Yeah. It's about African women. It's about African women. This is women. getting nastier. This is getting nastier by the minute. Because Oh, oh I have another paragraph to read when you're ready. Cuz it's going to get oh, even nastier. Please. Yeah, go. Go. Okay. This is this is a quote from Lupita about the partnership. Nyong'o added, I'm honored to be the first global ambassador for De Beers. This campaign brings to life the transformative power that I feel when I wear De Beers diamond creations and the pride in knowing where they come from and the good they do. Even more importantly, my partnership with De Beers allows me to extend my advocacy for women and girls around the world. Yeah, man. Like, okay, okay. I mean, that sounded like a a readout from a brand ambassador, though. So it did absolutely. It it sounded like. Never mind. This is not a Black Panther video. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it, it's really weirded me out because it's just like, are there no black boys in Southern Africa that you could be helping along with the black girls? Like, what is what is going on? Another question. Just her title is global ambassador. Seems to me this is only happening in one place. I just, I just find that a little weird. Yeah. And for yeah. only certain people in said group. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't mind fighting for African women. But you're right, global, yeah, yeah. You're you don't global have to say that, bro. You don't have to say that. If if you came into this here and this thinking that we're we're mad because Lapita L- Nuongo is is helping black women across Southern Africa, get a, get the hell on. That's not the point. It's the fact that it, it was specifically and exclusively black women, like it, black girls. Others here that can really use that help as well. You know what I mean? Maybe, maybe just black children in general. And instead of only black girls and only where we dig up their diamonds, there, there, there's something that feels like indoctrination in that. You know what I mean? It, it, it feels very colonizer-like. Oh, we're gonna come to your country. We're gonna dig up its diamonds and take it back and sell it to American rappers. But at least we'll educate your daughters while we're here. It feels it kind of feels like sponsored indoctrination. I would agree. But hey, I guess we will see what comes of it. What do you think of Lupita and her new uh, role as world ambassador or global ambassador of De Beers? Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Give us your comments in the prompt below and come back next week for more content. Absolutely. And this wasn't exactly a recast the child video, but we do have another video where Lupita made some other comments. So feel free to watch that video and feel free to subscribe anytime we hear any 
any stories such as this, we like to make sure that we're covering it.